The final discussions happening today to create new safety measures for a danger that may be in your home. For the first time, Florida will make rules for the safe use of rechargeable batteries. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Lisa Bell. You're watching News 6 at 5. Those lithium-ion batteries have become a big part of all of our lives. Just look at your cell phone or all around your house, really. That's right. And just last week in Palm Bay, firefighters say lithium-ion batteries in a garage made this house fire way worse. So News 6 investigator Eric Sandoval has been reporting for more than a year on how when these batteries overheat, they can explode and the fire can burn faster and hotter than other fires. It all led to new safety legislation signed by Governor DeSantis this May. Then in September, Eric attended the first meeting in the state on drafting new rules for storing and charging batteries. Now today, James is at one of those meetings in Brevard County. He's sitting right down with the state fire marshal director at the Hilton in Melbourne. So as the director of the state fire marshal's office, Joanne Rice is Florida's top firefighter. We first introduced you to Joanne, it was a year ago, when there were no rules regarding the storage and the charging of these batteries. Joanne, a lot's happened since then. A lot's been championed by our investigative reporting, our reporter Eric Sandoval. We just got out of one of the first meetings here in the state capitol designed to reshape these fire safety rules. And you're here today in Melbourne receiving more suggestions to get results. What are you hearing from our local firefighters? What do they want to see? We got some good information back from some of our local fire officials as well as some industry experts on comments on some different areas of the, the rule right now. Uh, there was a lot surrounding uh, parking garages and parking structures. Making sure parking garages are equipped with fire sprinklers. We want it to be seamless when the rule goes out that everybody understands it, they're able to put it into use. A year ago, you told us these batteries scared the daylights out of you. It terrifies me that we're going to lose firefighters, we're going to lose our citizens to these types of fires. There's been legislation since then, and the ball's really moving, I think, on getting results. So do you still feel that same way? How do you feel now? They still scare the daylights out of me, but what I will say is that there's a lot more awareness now. Uh, awareness with the public, awareness with the fire service, awareness with our legislature that there is an issue there. And that is comforting. That means we're going to do something. Joanne's office would like to hear from you, too. If you'd like to submit a comment suggesting how to draft these new rules, you have one week. The fire marshal's office is taking comments online until November 14th. In Brevard County, I'm James Sparvero, Getting Results News 6.